Hey lovelies, it's Cinnamon with the Stiletto Series and in this tutorial we're going to go over how you list your business in Google Local Business. And if you have a local business and you don't have your website or your link or any information on Google Local Business, you're doing yourself a terrible disservice and let me talk to you as to why and how to do that. So first of all, it will help your website if you're associated with anything Google does honestly so of course there's that reason and then you gotta remember Google is one of the top search engines so if anyone's looking for um, a locksmith or a plumber or a yoga studio they go to Google and you want your business to come up in that local search so also it's free there is no risk at this so why not just go ahead and do it um, so when you do your listing there's a couple things I want you to include you want to make sure your keywords are rich in the description and what that means is you want to think like your prospective customer what are some of the keywords they would use to try to find someone if they are looking for a local carry out and they're on their phone and they want to know they may put the zip code in which they're located and maybe carry out or take out food or whatever so think about those keywords that are associated with that industry and make sure to put that in your description okay pictures why not people want to know where they're going what it looks like definitely include pictures videos are also helpful particularly if you have your videos um, listed on YouTube that's going to help you in search as well we all know Google owns YouTube so of course if there's any videos that are associated with your business it's also going to help you in search so coupons it's an excellent way to get customers to your location if there's a place that I'm looking for takeout and I go online and there's a coupon I can print out or show when I get there versus a company that doesn't guess which one I'm going to pick. So think about those type of things to kind of bring people into your door. And most importantly, put your location hours. You would not believe how many restaurants that I actually go to and I love and I go to their website trying to figure out when they're open and there's no hours there. So definitely consider putting the hours of your business. Okay, so where do you go to do all this? Now Google changes their links every time a new or random product comes out. So right now you can go to google.com forward slash local slash ad business center which we'll go do in a second um, and make sure you have a Google account so if you have a Gmail account or a YouTube account then you're probably already registered so if you can't find the exact link don't fret just go ahead and Google Google local business listing and you'll be fine alright so that's that and now let's go ahead and let's take action and do a live demo so we're gonna go here to Google and let's say I want to know yoga yoga studio all right let's do yoga studio in New York since it's there now what I want to show you is right here see these top listings like right up in here let me scroll up these are paid okay but right down here are organic listings and you want your business to show up there so when you go ahead and click over here as you can see it changes in this section pictures of it and everything so here's New York yoga and now that I'm showing it to you it won't give me the picture oh it's slow see New York yoga over here on the right hand side see it okay so of course they have their address their phone their hours and any reviews if you get reviews from different things like Yelp yellow pages Yahoo that's gonna help you raise higher in Google as well so you might wonder how do I get my customers to rate me well, if you're in a situation where a lot of your um, invoices that you email those or you email receipts you can easily just put a link to Yelp to Yahoo whatever ranking search you want to use make it easy for your customer put a link there and say if you had a great experience you know would you mind just you know writing a quick review for us and if they loved it great it's not hard you didn't make your customers search where to find you on Yelp you get you provided them with the link so they can quickly write a review now if you are given sucky you know business and you're not giving good service then you really just shot yourself in the leg so make sure you're giving optimum service but this is also going to help you uh, rise in Google so let's go over quickly to 
what the site is. This is, I just logged into one of my Google accounts. And so this is basically what it looks like when you go to the link. And it says add listing. So you're going to come here, you're going to put the business name, the accurate business name, which you're incorporated as, and then your street address. The street address is very important because if they can't find a physical location for you, you don't count, okay? So this is why this is for local businesses. For your folks who are online and doing virtual services, I'll have something nice for you later, but this is for local businesses. Put your street address, all that great stuff, and your business telephone number. You don't want to use a Skype number or Google Voice number or one of those follow me numbers. You want to use your actual business number that is associated with your business, and Google will call you. When Google calls you, they're going to ask you to give them a code. You type that in and then you're official. You can also do that through mail, but if you do it through the phone, it's much quicker. So you go through all this. Um, I'm not going to do it because, um, you know, my business is all over the place. It's not local. Um, so you're going to hit submit. And then once you do that, it's going to ask you for your description and all of that great stuff. And if you know how to upload um, Microsoft Word photos or any photos to anything or files to anything, you'll know how to do your videos and your photos. So I hope that helps a bit. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them um, below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope you, incorpor you incorporate this if you have a local business. Do not forget about Google local business listing. It's important, okay? So until next time, um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. But if you are seeing this and you're not on my website, I want to invite you to come over to thestilettoseries.com so you can join all of us and enjoy uh, and engage in the conversation we have about business and growing your business. So until next time, it's been real. Thank you so much.